Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. It's so good to have you here. And um, to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. And thank you so much. It's truly appreciated. I don't know why I said that like that. But anyway, <laughs> it's like, why I say it like that? I don't know. I'm delirious right now. Y'all getting tired. But anyways, uh, with all that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessing. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And um, I'm hoping that you'll be able to vibe with this vibration. Of the, I hope you're being able to vibe with this video. And um, and you're being able to resonate with it. And if you do, please go ahead and share. It will be greatly appreciated. And the video is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's that shadow work hit a whole new different level. Suppression. It is like suppression-ish is coming out of the cracks and the crevices. I mean, I mean, cut out. I mean, it's really, y'all already know. I know you're looking at me, all the new people, I apologize, but this is how I be. You know, I'm hey, I'm a hayoka of hers. You know, I'm, I'm just like, I, I, I be coming out crazy. Like, <laughs> it was like coming out of the cracks and the crevices. It's just like be seeping. It's just like, ugh. Made me think about, uh... The movie <laughs> gold member with the fat bastard just coming out just all that just 200 pounds of clock artery just coming out and that's what it feel like you know all that shadow work boy that mess is not it is no joke i just did a video and i had to really catch myself because there's times where i be feeling that vibration you know how it is when you're, you're well when you're feeling something and it really just gets you it's just like if you see a movie and it's just like with me there are certain movies that I can watch when I was just straight sleeping and stuck and confused and stupefied and it, it would move me but it don't move me like it moved me now I'm like why'd you watch this movie you know it gonna mess you up bad you know and I'm just like no nah, nah, I ain't about to do that today but it caught me but it, it's just like that shadow work is no joke that shadow work is no joke and we have been going through it and it's been hitting us with them portals, you know, all, all the retrogrades. And then they say it's no retrograde within the retrograde. And I'm like, does the retrograde even know it's retro at that time? Do you really understand? And it's just like when you, you're confused, it's more confused than the confusion that you're dealing with is. You know, and it's just like, damn. You know, it's like one of those moments. It's really one of those moments. Y'all know me. I, I act a fool at times because it's just like you you don't have to be serious all the time when you're going through it. You got to be able to laugh throughout that crying because you're like, oh. <laughs> you got to be going through that crying laugh at the same time because you need it. You truly need it because it's just like if it's not, it's going to send you bonkers. You ain't trying to go there. You know, I'll be telling folks, you already know your elevator ain't tuned up. It goes to go to the 13th floor and it's stuck between the 1 and the 3. No, one and the three. And yeah, I put two fingers up when it's the three. You know, you be there. At, 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 even your radio don't tune in. It got the foil on the daggone antennas. And it still be static. And like, the lights are on, but nobody's home. And you really had to go through that. And it just gets to that point. There's going to be moments where your, your I mean, the video, the, 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 you know, there's different dreams I've had that was like so gross. That I've had like anything that you can think of, just you know, give you the heebie jeebies, and just like, what the heck? What are y'all trying to tell me? Can y'all just be simple? Why is it got to why y'all got to be extra? Because you extra, your vibration is extra, your whole extra is extra. So, we got to be a little bit, a lot of bit extra with you, just for us to understand, let you understand what's going on. So it's just like when you're going through all these different things in your life and you really trying to find your way around, trying to get to Sesame Street. Can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? And I'm still trying to understand how do I get to Sesame Street <laughs> anyway. But it, it's just like you going through this. I guess it's because the fact is I ain't made no videos in almost about a month. And this is like my sixth video straight. So I'm acting a little bit silly. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm setting a bar for myself. I'm going ahead and making, you know, because lately I've been doing, when I did do videos, I do like two or three. And, and then it would be like if I have one left over or two and a possible, 
<laughs> you know, I'm going to go in and put it out. I'm like, no, I don't even feel like going that way. That was just that vibe. I was just real stuck and confused. I just, I, I was feeling it at that point. And then I'm not feeling it no more. And the universe is like, good. We, we, we were wondering if you were going to get rid of that. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I ain't trying to do that again you know and you're just really understanding it because it's just like the video i had before you you know you stepping out the vibration of the groundhog day confusion you know and that that's just like that repetitive cycle you you know you already know what's going on because there'll be different times you can say something you can talk about something you can even come ugly out of the ugliest of ugly and you're like you know why did you even go back and say that and you know, and you'll catch yourself, and you already know you way past that. It's like, why you gotta be petty, Betty? I like you had to really go through and be petty, Patricia today, you know, and really be petty, Patty, Patty, or something like that. And it's just like you really don't have to be. It's like grow up, get out of that, you know, haha. It's still funny, but yeah, just let it go, you know, for it be another TK. Oh, <laughs> you got, you gotta really be able to allow yourself to go through that. But it's just like with all the BS and silliness aside, though, you know, you really had to do that shadow work. And you know, there'll be sometimes, you know, y'all come to me and we be cracking up, laughing and crying. And sometimes, you know, especially when we do those video chats, y'all been on video chat with me and be busting out laughing. You be like Rosalind for real though. And I'm here. It's like Rosalind, how many of those dang old, uh, what is it? Uh, what is it? What is it? That dark night of the soul you gonna have to go through. I don't know how many Batmans we got. You don't know when they gonna stop. That's just like I mean, Nightmare on Elm Street's are gonna stop. You know they on their way of making another scream. You know it's gonna probably be like one of those numbers, and it keeps getting crazier every time. You know it's gonna be stuff like that. You really don't know. You know because it's just like Rosalind for real. How many is it? And it's just like it depends on how far you have come through the mastery of forgiveness forgiveness with others forgiveness of yourself are you allowing yourself to let go of the past are you allowing that past to nurture you so you can grow to step out of that dynamics to living something more prosperous into your life instead of allowing yourself to be in stuck in dread and and uh pain and you know like you in the pit in the pendulum like it, it's up to you if you want to live in that life of misery go ahead do so but it ain't gonna get no better than that it, it's just gonna keep getting worse and worse and worse until you allow yourself to come out of it and then you can get to that point you may be broke busted and disgusted but then it's just like you know what I'm bandaging myself, you know, the arm could be broken, it could be slinged up all the way towards the back looking like I'm part of the Wizard of Oz that need to go see the goddamn wizard, you know. But then I can sit up here and say, yeah, my arm is like, it's coming out of my, my rib cage on this side, you know, Adam about to bring another, probably a Eve is bringing out another Adam. I, I just really don't know. And you coming out with something and just say, dang, that was a lot. And it came out of so many directions I did not see coming. But oh my God, I'm so happy I went through this because I got tired of feeling miserable. I got tired of feeling depressed. I got tired of always allowing myself to do a new remix of that same repetitive sequence of my trauma. You know, I don't have no more drama for that. Mama, I'm just ready to go. It's like, how much did a woodchuck... No, we are not going there. I don't, I don't even know how much of a wood... Go ask Woody, and we going about our business because I... I no, no. I, I'm getting out of Oz. I'm not living in Kansas. I'm going somewhere else. Because you deserve to go through all those different things to be able to hit new heights. And when you're going through these things, it has you really going through some crazy stuff to where you like... Are you serious right now? I'm like, yeah, we're, we're, we're serious. And you know, it's just like, you know, when we coming out kooky and crazy and funny and silly, and you know, we just act the fool at times because that's what we are. We're tricksters, we're jokesters. We don't do anything subtle. We got to be extra with it, we got to be amplified. And that's okay. That is truly okay because that means it ain't textbook because it's going to be downright interesting. You know, and going to be one of those moments in there to where you're going to understand from a whole new level why you have to go through this. And it's just going to make you look at yourself in a whole new way in the mirror. Like, you know, made me think about that song by Mary J. Blige talking about, I love what I, you know, I love to look at myself 
in the mirror. You know, you you a whole new person. Like, yes, you went through things, but look at what it built up. Look what it manifested. You may not be exactly where you want to, but you a perfect 10. You may be a, a 2 and a possible to a five whatever but then it's just like when you see how much you went through hell you may be even a 20 to a 20.5 you know and move on like hexadelicon one of them type of things that's going on in your life and it's just like i had to go through this this has made me into a person i never thought i could be but that shadow work is what i needed that time to myself is what i needed that isolation uh for a preparation of elevation is what i needed you know and there'll be times where you get tired of being by yourself and you're like oh my god i'm tired of being lonely but at this time where i can say God used to say that. I always felt like I always needed somebody around me because my life has always been like that. But um, now it's just like this gives me that opportunity to really find myself. It gives me that opportunity to really know myself from a deeper depth. And, um, and I'm enjoying that. When you become your own best friend, that changed the whole dynamic of things. When you're not looking for, you know, because there's a lot of times, you know, even when the pandemic started and we had to go on that quarantine and lockdown, that drove a lot of people crazy because it's like, you know, when you're with your jobs and you, you had a nine to five and you got away from your kids or you got away from your husband or you got away from your baby mama, your baby daddy, your husband, your wife, your parents, whatever. You didn't have to deal with the, the dumb stuff you were dealing with at home because you had some other dumb stuff out in the world you had to deal with now when you had to get to that point when you had to deal with it at home that was what universe was needed you had to be at home to deal with that stop ignoring it stop putting it to the side stop playing that as a leftover you'll eat for later no this is that time you had to deal with it right now not yesterday but right now and to that point so now it's just like tag it's peaceful because there was times that i felt like i've always had to have a friend there because there were certain things i just did not want to deal with I really did not want to deal with and then I was bringing my issues and spewing that out with my connections the people that I was with but universe used that as that expression of experience I had to use for me to be able to see this is what the pinpoints of your problems is because you keep talking about the same things over and over and over aren't you tired of watching that same movie because we know we tired of seeing you watch that same movie we already know it's how it's going to end and you already know how it's going to end come on let's watch a whole new movie there are certain other things you could be watching right now. You know, and it's going to be something like that. And they're telling you to appreciate that shadow work that you're doing. Appreciate that time that you're getting up by yourself because you're creating a whole new you. There's a part a part of you in that crack and crevice you didn't even know it was there. Like, dang, you were way down there up in that gut, that fast, that, <laughs> you know, that kind of funk that was up there. <laughs> I don't know, it's starting to grow and we got to come a name with it. You know, put a name on it. And we're like, yeah, I've been... I was here just waiting on you, just wondering when you going to get me out of this funk, you know, and just really go. And so it's just like when we have gone through this meeting, I mean, when I say I forgot what is the 222 portal and I forgot what else we were going through because it was like four things going on at one time. And I'm just like, it was a truth. It was a truth teller. That's what that was. A truth teller and a game changer all at one time. I'm going to just say that. It was a lot of um, impertinent putting things that we had to go through. That I was just like, I'm ready to go through it. I'm tired. Can't get it. It's just like, so now if I allow myself to really face this, I ain't going to go through it no more. You know, like, yeah. We, we've been trying to tell all y'all that, but y'all just didn't want to listen. You know, you wanted to keep going around in that suffering. You want to keep going around in that hurt. Now, if other people want to stay in that hamster wheel, you go ahead and do that. But this is that point where we really tired of you getting up out of it. You know, and you're really allowing yourself to do that. You know, you're, you're becoming that person that you needed when you were going around in that, in, in, you know, in that infinite of insanity. You, you know, you're stepping out of that, that, um, Groundhog, was it groundhog? Uh, moment of confusion. You know, you're seeing, you know, the matrix of illusions that showed you the pinpoints to be able to snatch out your truth within that. You know, you're able to read it, and it just feels like to me when I see it, when I get, you know, when I you've been with me for a while, you hear how I get these visions, you know, I, you know, you come out of it like you you start seeing a lot of impasse coming from the dirt. And it's like you're coming out of the darkness, you know. It's kind of like, you know, if anybody ever watched those movies like Lars Motos. What is it? Lars Motos uh, vampire movies. You know, I love vampire movies. You know, they always got them in the cracks and in the coffins and stuff like that. And that's basically what we're in. You know, you're in that that uh, darkness. 
you know, um, and you had to be able to be in that darkness for you to be able to get comforted with your light. Because a lot of times we jump to our light and we don't want to be bothered with our darkness because we say that is so bad. But it's not. You know, this is a part of us that's going to show us that light where the light is going to be straight pure. It's not going to be synthetic. It's not going to be gold plated. It's not going to be fake. You know, this is that whole full light. But for you to get to that light and connect with it, you had to be embrace that sadness, that darkness, that pain, that whatever that was that had a narrative attached to it. You had to connect with that for you to be able to get all the way to this. You know, they always tell you, you know, you can't go through rock bottom. You can't go through the good without appreciating the rock bottom of the bad. You know, you can't be up the highs if you didn't appreciate where the lows took you. You know, because a lot of times, don't who wants to go through that negative part of your life? But when it starts showing you what you neglected at one time, what you needed to really connect to, and it's not always what you purposely meant to neglect, because there's a lot of times where we have unsubconsciously neglected something and didn't know that was there, and there's sometimes we were programmed to neglect that. And for all that to happen right now, that's really taking us in places that you know that was that game changer that we really had to go through that is that that level that it was at that high level of what we choose to suppress what we choose to uh like oh i don't want to think about that you know because we certain things like i'll have my wallpapers up on my computers and it'll be something that i was like dang that that's a good one and it'd be something when i'm really going through something it's like yeah the things that you want to do is something that you don't want to do i don't want to look at you right now oh but that was good then when you were in your highs now when you're lows you don't want to think about it but that was something i needed to see you know, you you know, you can change the dynamic every day, but when you're disciplined in changing that dynamic is when it changed your whole life and in, 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 into that nutshell. You know, you start becoming, you know, because it can be scary. It's just like, what if I get triggered? What if I and it's just like you already creating that point in your life that you don't have confidence in yourself. You know, and that's where it's telling you have confidence in yourself, have faith that this is a whole different time. You have learned so much since that last time that you got triggered. That last time for you had that hiccup, you know. So this is that, that time to show you when it happens, when it happens so many times, you should already know, am I going to allow this to trigger me? Mm -mm. Is this my, Is it, am I going to take this personal? Mm -mm. Is this anything that I need to pinpoint with, with myself? Mm -hmm. What? That it doesn't concern me. This is not, you know, what that thought is it's more about whatever that is and this doesn't pertain to me but i appreciate what that experience taught me and you're like bingo that's what it did and there's a lot of times where we have to really appreciate those moments of what we had to really truly go through to get to where we are at now you know and it's just like when you get towards that point that's when you're changing the whole name of the game it's just like you know sometimes the enemy wants you to play you know the old games but they don't realize that you have that choice to make that point of changing all the rules like yeah we can play this all day but I'm going to change the rules for this you know and there are sometimes I ain't even got to play with you you can play with it by yourself <laughs> you know I got other things I want to do I said, I don't play this game before I know this but I actually but I can look my enemy in the face and say I appreciate this because you have really showed me the true character of what I played within this game and you have to be you know you're going to be benefited of being uh, gracious and hold that gratitude of attitude of everything that you have faced into your life because it created something into you you never expected you're becoming more of that, that that warrior you never knew you were there it was just waiting for you to acknowledge that it was always there but you had to go through it through your frustration through your fears your highs your lows your weakness points your darkness to get to your light all those things showed you of what you already were you know that's the reason why could be sometimes we, we look like man this is the scariest all no all get out i ain't trying to do this and it's like your family like yes you can we already rooting for you know we don't got sit up here and got sodas we don't probably you know someone probably won't roll blunts and sit up here and got some daggle uh you know some extra tonics and stuff like that some you know some hooch or something and they ready to get down in the boogaloo you know, up there in the, in, in the spirit world because they already know, oh man, it's almost close to celebration time and I'm ready to party. You better get this right this time. I told you. You know, and they already improved that to you because they would not have that confidence in you. They want that. They, they have universe, God, the tribe, 
our ancestors, our deities, the masses, all those different things had that confidence in us that they needed us to see for ourselves. Thank you. So, you know, you allow yourself to go through that and it, it's just going to be a good thing. You know, you've gone through so many different things in your life, you know, and if you're struggling with it, don't think that you are not being able to get out that loop, loop of struggle. Loop, loop of struggle. God, dog, I can't talk worth nothing today. But yeah, you know, and it, it's going to be okay. You're going through these things, but this is that thing that is going to really change um, how you look at everything in life. So they're telling you, even though it can be scary because this is a whole new frequency you're on. This is something brand new. They're telling you, don't be hard on yourself because you come at something that you ain't ever been in that process of processing that you about to progress on. So yeah, that's something you got to be, you know, you got to be tender with it. You got to hold compassion. <laughs> it's true compassion with it. Like, hey, we're going to go on this. We're going to get into it. You know, you got your own, you know, you got your own little handshake, probably got your own little crip walk or whatever you got with yourself to know that you're going to get through this and it's going to be okay. You know, you just got to take it one day at a time. They always tell you, you know, analyze the step, but don't look at that whole staircase. That's where we mess up, baby. Like, I can't do this. It would be like some goddamn on uh, Uma Thurman on some daggone key, kill Bill when he was telling her to run up them stairs. You don't want to do that. You know, we'd be like... <clears throat> You know, when she had to hit it, end up breaking her fingers, and you know, she had, you know, I had her own calling or whatever. But, anyways, I hope y'all were able to resonate with the content of this video. Much love to you. I would love to give a post notification shout out to, uh, la 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 la. I don't forgot who I'm going to say hi to. Um, Val Stover, much love to you. Spiritual Mastery, much love to you as well. And, um,. Uh, Dalka, uh, Dalka Green as well. Much love to you. If you're you're new to the channel, welcome. It's so good to have you. And I apologize. Well, no, I'm gonna be unapologetic about that because there's sometimes you gotta get a little silly and get a little crazy. And you already know if you've been with me for a while, you see me act the fool here because there'll be sometimes like Rosalind, you don't make me choke laugh. And I sound good. Well, as long as you were able to breathe after that laugh, hey, I did my job. So we okay. <laughs> so I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Much love to you. I miss you, and I love y'all so much. Now, thank you for all the, the all the insight that y'all give me. The different things y'all want me to talk about. You know, if there's different videos y'all want me to talk about as well, you know, I'll go give you a shout out if you would like that. And um, you know, um, just go ahead and pinpoint on that. I love it when y'all be dropping, you know, the insight. You were like, Rosalyn, hey, can you make a video about this? And I, I love to be able to do that. So, um, I hope you are able to resonate with that. Whatever you're manifesting into your life, I'm giving so much, you know, vibes sent towards your way. Possible. Anything that is uplifting towards that to make sure it's something that you never expected. Because especially if you've been working hard, you be, you deserve everything that is, is out there to offer. You know, especially if God has something for you, you've got something very spect spectacular there for you. And it's where you can least expect it. It can be right around the corner. It be, could, could be today. When you wake up in the morning, you never know. So, you know, I'll leave my contact information in the description box below. You know, it's all about spiritual networking. People talk to me about different things that may be going through. or got questions about why certain things that happen. And I try my best either through from experience or from what the insight that, you know, the guys give me. And I try my best to be able to do that. And everything we speak on is... Um, is confidential is very discreet so you know i help out the best way i can if you feel generous enough to give a donation i'll also leave my cash app as well and the link to my my spotify podcast so i'll see you on my next video much love to you peace